G'day everyone and welcome back to another video. I've been recently getting a lot of comments asking me to make an updated video of the best graphic settings to use in chapter 5. So here's a really quick video on the best graphic settings to use in chapter 5. I just want to give a quick disclaimer that this should be treated only as a guide. Every PC is different and it will handle Fortnite differently. You all are free to change some settings around to get your ideal visuals and FPS. And you all are also welcome to ask me any question you have in the comments below and I'll try to answer them all. Let's get started by going over the settings everyone should set. In window mode, it is ideal to set it to full screen, but if you are alt tapping a lot, you are free to set it to window full screen. Resolution, set it to your native monitor resolution. For vSync, turn it off. For frame rate limit, set it to unlimited. For rendering mode, if you are a comp player, set it to performance mode. For everyone else, set it to DirectX 12. For brightness, user interface contrast, color by mode, and color by strength, it is up to personal preference. And for motion blur, turn it off. Now onto the actual graphic settings, I'm going to split up my recommended settings into four different categories. On screen now is the four categories with timestamps. Select what type of player you are in Fortnite and feel free to skip to your part for your best settings. Again, keep in mind that this is only a guide and you're free to change the settings as you please. For common players with your rendering mode set to performance mode, have your 3D resolution set to 100, have your view distance set to medium, have your texture set to medium, and your meshes set to high. For players with not a good PC but still want better visuals than performance mode, set everything to low. For players with a good PC but still want the best FPS, set your anti-aliasing mode to DLSS if you have NVIDIA and set that DLSS mode to performance. Unfortunately, I never own an AMD graphics card, so I don't know what anti-aliasing mode is available on there. Let me know in the comments if you do have one and what you would recommend. For Nanite, turn it off. For Shadows, set it to Medium. For Global Illumination, set it to Ambient Occlusion. For Reflection, set it to Screen Space. For View Distance, set it to Medium. For texture, set it to epic. For effects, set it to epic. And for post processing, set it to low. And finally, for those who have a good PC and want the absolute best visuals, set anti aliasing mode to DLSS if you have Nvidia with DLSS quality. Turn Nanite on with virtual shadows on medium, global illuminations on high, and reflections on lumen high. For view distance, set it to medium. For textures, set it to epic. For effects, set it epic, and for post processing, set it to low. And one final setting for all NVIDIA users is to set your reflex low latency to on plus boost. And that is all the updated graphic settings for chapter 5. This is really quick, so you are all free to ask me any questions you might have, including what each setting does if you're not sure. Be sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future videos like this, and I'll see all of you in the next video.